Oh, hello, everybody. I'm Celeste and I work in ISO Square. And today we're going to be doing another of them, they can make it. Today we're going to be doing the painted fabric wall art. Um, we're going to be watching a video for about 11 minutes and then we're going to go back all together as a group and we're going to try to do it ourselves. Um, Colleen, if you want to introduce yourself. My name is Colleen. I also work at the library. I work in I've squared too, and I don't have a kit with me because I'm going to be monitoring the chat. But if you guys have any questions, if you're on Facebook Live, you have any questions, um, shoot us in uh, chat. I'll be able to see it. We can interrupt and we can sort of talk and take you through it if we're going too fast, if we have any steps we skipped. Um, we are going to be able to watch the Creative Bug video, which is one of our databases that we got this idea off of. And we will not, because of the drying time, be able to finish by the end of this hour. Um, but you'll know the steps and then we'll give you a link to the Creative Bug so you can always watch their videos and like pick up from there if you need help. Uh, and I think that is it um what is our next take and make our next take and make is gonna be the chutney from our creative in residence so we're gonna be, gonna be gonna be saturday yeah. next saturday uh december 12th next yeah. saturday Yes. Next Saturday. So if you guys are interested in making any like food pantry gifts for the holidays or making chutney, um, we still have some kits left with that, the ingredients and everything. And we're going to be doing that on Saturday. So definitely give the library a call. I'll put the number in the chat and you guys will be good to go. All right, Celeste, take it away. All right. So um, the last thing I want to say is, well, thank you, of course, for everyone to be here on a Friday afternoon. And when you guys finish, if you want to share any pictures or anything with us, uh, please just go ahead and Colleen can also send the tags and stuff. The yeah, just tag email. NHFPL. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I ask you already if you got the kit. I'm going to share the video that is about 11 minutes um, from Creative Art with you guys. And in the meantime, while you guys actually listening to the video and watching the video, I'm going to encourage you to open the kit and start taking all the things apart. So if you already have, we're going to be painting a fabric. So if you have where to put the fabric, just um, spray the fabric open, uh, set the, the paint on the side, everything on the side as the video goes. So by the time the video finish, we are going to be ready to start our project. I would say probably, Celeste, what are you putting down to make sure you don't get paint places? Are you putting down like a sheet, like an old sheet? It can sheet? be a sheet, it can be a paper. Um, I or have used something paper like that. On, on my guy in case, so yeah, okay. either way. We don't want people messing up everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I need to make sure I share the audio so you guys can see and listen. And if you've never heard of Creative Bug, that is our creative sort of Tinker Lab based website where we get a lot of these take and make ideas from and we do crafting and they have lots of holiday um, related crafts in the whole section and every year just I'm astounded by the amount of things you can make and do that they have professional designers, professional painters, artists uh, taking you through and it's not just paint you can also like do yarn work you can like sew you can make lots of different things so definitely check it out um, the way you find it to get there through the library is you go to nhfpl.org you go to um, collections e-collections and then there should be a link for a creative bug and then it'll take you through and have you make an, a, an account with your email and you don't need a library card number to do it as long as you go through the library to find it Okay, everybody can see the screen or shut up. Hi. It's a little blurry. Yeah, that is. Maybe actually... make it like smaller. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I think it's a little blurry, but I'm gonna. Um... It'll make it clearer. Creative bug, and I'm gonna show you how to paint on a really large scale. We'll be painting on fabric, and you won't need any previous painting experience for doing this. It's one of my favorite projects. Once we have our painted fabric, we're gonna mount that into embroidery hoops of 
all sizes to create a really impactful and stunning piece of wall art. This is lightweight and very versatile so that you can hang it over a couch or even over a bed. It's really easy to do and it's super, super fun. You'll need to gather some art materials for this. You'll need about two yards of a cotton weight fabric, a spray bottle, a variety of acrylic craft paints in a colorway that you like. I'm sticking with mostly cool colors here, teal, blues, and then I'm doing a little bit of purple with just a few pink accents. You can choose anything that you like. Jar of water, because we're painting. Embroidery hoops in a variety of sizes. Some kind of painting palette. You could even use a muffin tin. Something that has little wells is nice because we're going to add some water. And it's nice to have something that your brush will fit in. I like to have inexpensive, coarse bristled brushes for this project. And I have a few so that I can switch between colors without having to wash my brush. A foam brush is always handy. A utility knife and a pair of scissors. And I've protected my table with some paper. If your fabric has a lot of creases in it, you should fold it or throw it in the dryer so that when you're painting, that doesn't leave odd marks as you go. Remember to protect your table because we're gonna use a lot of water here. And I've cut my fabric in half because it's easier to work on half of it at a time. We're gonna start by just spraying this down lightly. Uh, you can, can even you pause really quick? to do more concentrated yeah. areas. Yeah, I noticed she said the folded thing. So can anyone put in the chat whether your fabric is folded? Because we probably have some things you can do if you have something heavy um, to put on either side of the fabric to keep it taut or tight. Um, Celeste, is yours fold? Does it fold too much or is it a yeah, nice fabric? It was, it was um, forced, but as I um, put my hand on it, it's actually kind of like um, it's training up really quick. So Okay, so yeah, run your hand over it and, and I'm sure it'll be okay. Yes. All right, you can fly. Okay. Oh. And the reason I'm doing this is because the paint will take to the wet areas differently than the dry areas, and those effects are really unpredictable and super cool. I've put different colors in my muffin tin or palette here, and I'm getting my brush pretty wet. And we're gonna do a variety of wet brush strokes and dry brush strokes. There's not a lot of rules to this. We're just gonna see how the paint do we want to give them time to get all the materials? Yes. So as right now, um, we just taking the stuff away. I mean, taking it apart from the bag, and mm -hmm. then probably I'm gonna give extra five minutes after the video finished for to, people to get their stuff to get the water and to get probably something to put the paint. Okay. Yeah. So if you That's think we're going too fast, we're we're gonna go through this afterwards. Don't worry about it. Yes. Okay lays down on the fabric and react to it. I'm not getting a ton of paint. I'm just dipping the tips of this brush into the paint and just going back and forth. In the really wet areas, or if you water down your paint a lot, it's gonna dry a little bit lighter. So just keep that in mind. Let's do some darker color. Let's add some purple in here. You can splatter it. This is really light. That's going to dry almost completely transparent. Something like that's a little better. You can see how the paint disperses on the part of the fabric that's already wet versus the way it stays pretty much just as a splatter, like with an even circle on places where the fabric is dry. And I love that. I love that unpredictability. Let's go for some more aqua. You can leave a lot of white space, just a little bit of white space. I definitely recommend painting right to the edge so that you can use all of your fabric. But I do think some white space is nice because it helps activate the space with a lot of color. It's totally up to you about how the proportions are gonna be. Just mixing and being super careless with this and that is fine. This pink actually has some metallic in it, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to get like a deeper kind of color. Let's do some brush strokes. Come back in with your water. to go 
all the way to the edge. I feel like I want some blue on this side also. You can switch brushes if you want. I'm grabbing my foam brush, which I can use to make more repetitive controlled marks. Like these little dashes. If that is something you might want to try. You could also do more chevron-y shapes just by using the tip. We're going to be cutting this up, so you may retain some of this pattern or it may become completely abstracted just by cutting it along these marks. You just don't know. It's fun to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to go back to blue. over things. This part's so much fun. Like really no rules. Try not to overwork any sections because you don't want it to become too muddy. If that happens you can let it dry and just paint over it again in those areas. Do some splatters. Do a concentration of splatters. a lot of this dark teal. Maybe I'll put that in here. Paint right to the edge. Go in here and make some marks. This area definitely needs some splatter action. As this settles, as you're painting, this is where we just splattered. And if you come over here and look, you can see how that splatter has really traveled. And it looks like marbled paper, which I absolutely love. It's really fun to work with this wet on wet method because you really don't know what results will happen. And that's just part of the fun. Just embrace it. If you hate it, absolutely hate it, you can cut it up. But you could also just paint right over it. You're gonna go ahead and paint your other half in a similar way. You could switch up your colors. You could add more splatter or less splatter, whatever you desire. But you do have to let both pieces dry before we can move on to our next step. Depending on how you dried your piece, there may be a few wrinkles. You could iron them out, or if they're pretty small, then you can actually stretch them out when we mount our fabric into our embroidery hoops. This is really fun because depending on your size of embroidery hoop or whatever you're working with size-wise, you can kind of move your embroidery hoop around until you find a framing that you like. The embroidery hoop has two pieces and the hardware is usually at the top. We can actually put a nail and use this hardware to hang or because there's depth we can use that half inch or so to just prop this on a nail when we hang it on the wall. You're going to make several of these so you have an opportunity to do several little framings. I think I like that spot because I have a strong striation here, a little bit of white space, and a little bit of my splatters. I'm going to just roughly cut around this, leaving maybe an inch or so. If you're trying to get the most bang for your buck, you may want to do this on the floor or a really large table and lay out all your embroidery hoops so that you're economizing how much fabric you're using in each. Is worried about that. Gives me an excuse to paint more. Just move this away. Remove the outer part with the hardware. And then place your fabric over the inside ring. And then just shimmy your outer ring on top. You're going to pull down so that this fabric is nice and taut and make sure that your lining 
your hardware up so you have the right orientation, the correct orientation. I don't want the striations coming down. I want them to be parallel to the floor, let's say. So I'm just gonna replace that outer ring so that this is a little straighter. And that's just my preference. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Pull down along the edge of your fabric just until this is nice and snug. And then you can tighten your embroidery hoop. Yes. I had a question. I know we're almost done uh, with that part. But um, as far as how many hoops came in the kit, it was one hoop per kit? No, there's actually either two or three. So or some three. people got two, some people got three. But the people that got two, they might got more paint. Instead of three bottles, got four bottles. So okay. it was a little bit, but at least there is two hoops for everything. Just checking because um, sometimes it's helpful for people that don't have a kit but are interested or didn't get enough hoops and still have fabric left over or paint left over to know where to get these hoops. So yes, where so did we get the hoops? All of these, we got it in John Fabric. And it was really All right, cheap. I'll type in the... Yeah. Um, Joanne.com is where we got where we got the hoops. All right. So we have like two more minutes left on the video, and then we're gonna go back and start our project. How are we doing up there? Good. Yes. Okay. Just by twisting the screw on the top hardware, you can retighten that into if you've pressed anything out of place. This is such a great project because it's so versatile and you could easily change out the fabric in these hoops. You could paint more canvases or you could use purchase fabric as well. If you are going to change this out and you want to come back and place the same fabric back in these hoops, you probably want to cut a larger rim around the back and tape it on the inside so it's not permanent. Because I know that I'm going to leave this fabric in this hoop, I'm going to trim this right to the edge just using a utility blade. I'm just gonna run that along the edge of the embroidery hoop. Careful not to cut yourself, this is sharp. Try to hold and pull on the fabric a little as I cut around. But you can see it gives you like a perfectly clean edge. If you weren't gonna do that, you would cut this with a wider margin and just tape it on the inside with masking tape. If you use hot glue, then you're not gonna be able to get this apart later. I love this one because of the color palette. It looks a little bit like a little planet, but this is so much fun. You would continue just mounting your fabric in a variety of embroidery hoops. And then to hang them, you could arrange them on the floor until you like a placement. And just using a single small nail, hang them on the wall just like that. Because they're lightweight, you could easily hang them over a bed or over a sofa. The painting part of this is so much fun for me. You could easily do this in an afternoon. It's such a great gestural and free form of painting. And because it is so simple to put together, you could easily do it for a party or any space in your house. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. How are we doing up there? Ready? Okay, so I went ahead and I get some, I got some water. So if you need to get water, I can give you two, three more minutes. I also fill up the sprayer that you guys have with water as well. And in a paper plate, I put my paint. Scissors, all that kind of stuff. So if you need a couple of minutes, um, for the people that are here, if you could comment when you're ready in the chat, um, that would be awesome because then we'll know when to start. And also, as you noticed, I got a little helper next to me that. Hi, Niagara. Hi. <laughs> I couldn't say no to this activity for her. <laughs> no, painting is such a fun one. We have someone on Facebook right now. Hi, Laura. Uh, she's joining and she's working from the Wallace Library and she is tuning in because they're considering getting Creative Bug and I just said we love Creative Bug. We love it, yeah. yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. we love it. Um, something that I wanted to mention is as, um, about the video. I mean, as you see, it was like really easy. Um, there is no rules. It's just to have, like, have fun, pretty mm -hmm. much. 
Um, That's what's great about abstract painting. I know we had another abstract painting from Creative Bug a couple weeks ago and people loved that one too, so. Yeah, and, and this one were kind of like, like closing up this series of painting. Mm -hmm. um, I did like the soap and the candles and that was kind of like a series that I made up for me. And then I did these two abstract paintings. So this is like closing this series of painting. And then maybe for January, we're going to be moving towards something different. Mm -hmm. Aubrey All might right. have to leave soon, but she was saying that she can't wait. She can't wait to make some creations and she's going to share her pictures. So again, if you make any of this with the Take and Make kit, if you're watching this later and you're making it and you're not watching it live, Anytime you post to social anything you've made, please tag us because uh, we're excited to see what you've made, um, especially because we won't see the finished product by the end of this video. Yes. Okay. Right, so I perfect. think we're ready. We're ready to start. We have about half an hour, so I think it's enough time to actually do a lot. Um, I'm going to put my camera towards the fabric here. Um, and then we're going to just start. So, Colleen, maybe you can find some music to share with us okay so i'm gonna wet just a little bit the fabric um and i love blue so i'm gonna start with blue and i'm just gonna start somewhere like i don't know where <laughs> oh wow i wanna do this brighter okay Can you hear the music or should I turn it up? Um, we can hear it. I'll turn it a little bit. This is Taylor Swift. I hope that people like her. color. <laughs> Stamper. Look, you can do this. You can do something like that. Look, like just little lines like this. Okay? In this section. Oh. <laughs> Maybe yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. We want to see Kate. What are you doing? Abstract painting. Abstract painting? Mm -hmm. What's abstract? <laughs> That's a really good question. So, what's abstract? <laughs> it's this. Oh, I thought it's a really good idea. I think I would call abstract like there's no plan, Niagara. Mm -hmm. 
We have? All right, so Nayara just had a really good idea, and I think I can share with you guys. So when you open the bottles of the paint, there was a little tiny plastic on top, and you actually can use them as circles. And I think that's a really good idea. Oh, Mommy, if it doesn't have any color, we could stamp it to the rest of paint and make some dots. Yeah, Celeste, we can't see the circle. Can you show us? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, like a stamp. Yes. You need water in the beginning and then later you don't need that, that much water. Thank you. 
Way until it dries. But now I want some glue. Come on. Glue? Yeah. I'll say green, not take green. What do you want to use? A stamper? A sponge? Yes. Could you give me a uh, tray? Okay. Make it nice, okay? Oh, we have someone, Elisa. Can you see? I mean, okay. Hi, how are you? Mommy, I thought we had two of these and then the other one of these. Mom, we had three of these. You have it. I was showing people your stuff, but I have an idea. What? We don't have to make it a leap. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. No problem. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make my own clothes. Yes. I should have been smoking that. Okay. I'm but, making my own. So, what colors am I going to do next for? Question. Rainbow. You and rainbows. <sighs> so, it's Mariah Elizabeth and rainbows. Oh, wow. I love it. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna try and move this. You think I that's, need to combine these. Think I can do it? Whoa, messy. <laughs> All right. No! You draw this. You got it. And it's okay if we get some paint on that trick. Yeah. All right. Ready? Go. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What's crazy? And some of Hold it's on. still there. Uh, what? Some of the plastic is still there. Okay, I got it off. Yeah, see? Ew. Good. Nice. Uh, Dang it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Use the lid. No. Oh, <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> Wait. Let's see. 
Wait, wait. Oh, she can come. Oh, yeah. Come oh, in, give me. Okay. What is the final? Yeah, that's great. Tell me here about you now that I need you. Where are you now? Where are you now that I need you? I found you anyway. I'm hoping I didn't leave you. I was by your side. So where are you now that I need you? Yeah. So probably some of the, the pieces on your paint start drying and you're going to start seeing how different it is from the beginning.
I think so. Now my daughter is just adding things, but pretty much. Achilles, I think I <laughs> Dog helping. So I'm going to show you how it looks. Wow. Those look amazing. Oh, wow. Don't you wish you could frame like the whole thing? It's just so big. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I love the colors. Where's yours, Eliza? In the hall? No. Oh, I found it. Make sure you guys take a picture of the whole thing before you cut it out. That's I know, cool. right? You're yeah. right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Definitely. Just to have it, you know? It's actually pretty cool. Can you get me something to paint on uh, to put my paint onto? Hold on a second. All right. Can we what? Get something to put my paint onto. Like okay. a palette? Yes. Yes. I think we know what we're doing here. So if you use a couple sheets of paper together, that should be fine. Remember to spray it down in the beginning. Right? Mm -hmm. Spray bottle. Put my hand in paint. I think I'm gonna take my picture. And if you think that you might need, after it dries, you might think you need more color, you can go ahead and do a second coat. Yeah, you can do that. I feel like these make great gifts. Like if you have three, you should give one away, maybe if you, or if you go get more hoops. And I just feel like it would be so special to like give to someone something you handmade yeah and i'm thinking like even like if it's a group of friends like three or four friends and then each one gets a copy of like a, it could be really fun as long yeah. as you're outside or you're safe with people that you see regularly if you have like a core group or something it could be a fun thing to do for sure or even over zoom like we're doing now Alcohol doesn't have to be involved, but wine and making this would be probably really fun. 
Celeste, what's your dog's name again? Is that, is that, um, Hercules? Hercules, yeah, so cute. See. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we're coming up on the end. Um, we lost Sharda and Aubrey had taken off a little bit earlier. I know Kate's done and we got to see what she made. So we can always log off at this point, but definitely check out the notes um, on our Facebook Live video for how you can finish doing this or if you need, need to run through it again. And then this will be uploaded to our YouTube so you can always yeah. watch it at any point. Yes. So please share the pictures, share your final products. I will share mine and I hope to see you very soon. All right. Bye, guys.